Hello, this is pre-lesson D from the Japanese from Zero book one. Uh, I was going to say Japanese from Zero series, but I ended up saying from Japanese from Zero book one. This is one of the pre-lessons right before we get into actual sentence creation. We're going to do a final cleanup task where we talk about how to say your age, which typically comes up when you first introduced yourself, especially when you don't know a lot of other phrases and you don't know what else to say, age will come up. Now, just like in America, you typically don't ask people's age, but when you're learning a language and you're short of things to say, this is an easy phrase to say, and let's get to it. This is Japanese age-related stuff. Now, we learned a bunch of numbers. We learned 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, We learned, actually, if you watch the other videos, we learned up to uh, over uh, a billion. We got actually got up to a trillion with numbers, okay? But now we're just gonna use those first 10 numbers and we're gonna have a slight variation. In other words, we're gonna finally use what you learned in those numbers in actual speaking. So let's take those numbers and convert them into years old. There will be, for example, isai. Now, sai means years old. And you could say, right, ichisai, but it would be wrong because what Japanese do is they've shortened it to isai. Isai, never ever ichi sai. Okay, two years old, nisai, nisai. Three years old, san sai, san sai. Now four years old can never be shi sai. Has to be yon sai, yon sai. Five years old, go sai. Now you think maybe these aren't important, right? Because you're not one years old and you're not two years old, but the pattern that we're setting here works for 22 years old, 43 years old, because you just add the 40 in front and end with the sansai, okay? Roksai, roksai. Now, roksai is rokusai, but often when Japanese say it, they kind of scrunch it up a little bit, and it becomes roksai. And this is, by the way, how old my wife thinks I am. Seven years is nanasai. Just not shichisai. Now, right now, it's not a problem, right? Like, if you said shichisai, they would understand you. And they wouldn't understand shichisai, I'm guessing. Shichisai, they would understand because shichi is universally known as seven. But wait until we get to nine years old. You're going to be in trouble. Eight years old is never hachisai. It's always hasai. Hasai. All right? Now, kyusai can never be kusai. Kusai means smelly. You literally could be asked, how old are you? And say by mistake, I'm smelly. You don't want that. Unless you're, unless you're really honest and you smell. You don't want to say kusai. So it is kusai. Kusai. Remember, when you have a double vowel, it lengthens. Kusai. It's really like kusai. Kusai. All right, and the most important one right now, because we're going to use it over and over again, is jussai, jussai, right? Now, you'll also hear this as J-I-S-S-A-I, but I, in our books, we teach the jussai one, uh, but it also can be jissai for some people. All right, so with, with those 10 things, those 10 words, we can now say ages up to 99 years old. Because you're just, let's say we have the five years old, right? So, gosai, if you want to say 25, it's niju gosai. 45, yonju gosai. You just add the tens that you already learned in the prior lessons. Except for one exception. One exception. 20 year old in Japan is a special age. It's kind of like the coming of age. Uh, it's like when you're officially an adult in Japan, is 20, okay? So they don't say nijusai. They say hatachi. And there is no sai. They don't say like ever. They'll never say hatachi sai. It's always hatachi. Hatachi. All right? And not hitachi. The company hitachi would not be right. Ha. Hatachi. But, but, that doesn't mean that they say hatachi isai for 21. For 21, he goes back to the, the actual pattern, which is what? Niju. 
Is it 20, 21 sai? No. Because remember, it's no, there's no such thing as ichi sai. It's niju isai. All right, time for some, some actual practice. Here we go. What is this age? How do you say, that's my age, by the way. I'm at the making of this video. I am 43. So what is that? Really? I say, what is that? And you say, old? Come on. Come on, Jim. Don't do that to me. I hope there's some guy named Jim that was thinking that. All right, so 43 is yonju sansai. Yonju sansai. Yonju sansai. All right. What's this one? This is how old I was when I went to Japan. My dad said, do you want to go to Japan? Actually, he said, do you want to go to Japan when I was nine? I was going to get to go to Okinawa, which would have been awesome. But I had a goldfish, and I said, Dad, can I bring my goldfish? And he said, no. So we didn't go to Japan. And that's what I remember as the reason, but probably there was other reasons. All right, so 12 years old is Juni Sai. Juni Sai, all right? All right, that was practice. You ready for quizzes? All right, we're going to do a little bit different. I'm not going to show you an age and then you try to say it. I'm going to, this is going to be a different quiz. There are no wrong answers. It's just what you think it is. Unless you thought of a number and then said the Japanese number wrong, then you're wrong. But if you get the actual answer wrong, I'm not going to fault you for that. What is the voting age in America? This is for like presidential elections and things like that. How old do you have to be in America to vote? It's a, it's a two-step quiz. First, I want you to see if you know the answer. Second, we'll see if you know the Japanese. All right. So the answer is 18. But how do you say 18 years old in Japanese? Ju... Ha... No. Ju hasai. Ju hasai. Okay. Notice how I'm not saying ju hasai. I'm not saying ju hasai. It's ju hasai. That double S is very important. Go back and look at the pronunciation video, uh, lesson, which is pre-lesson A, to make sure that you understand that a double consonant has consequence. They, they do things. All right. Next one. What is the average currently, as of the making of this video, the average age that Japanese rounded. We're going to round it. We're not going to say point anything. The Japanese age for marriage for both men and women averaged out what is the average age that they get married i was i was really surprised because i remember when i was learning japanese back in like 1980 i started in 85 it was like 88 i remember i learned the word kekkon tekireki which means marriageable age right and it used to be 24 they would say your marriageable age is 24 but that's not the average age that people get married so what age do you think they are when they get married average Japan. It's crazy. It's 29. 29 years old. I got married at 22 just to kind of set the record straight. So 29 in Japanese is what? Is it, okay, it's ABC. Is it Niju Kyusai? Is it Hatachi Kyusai? Or is it Niju Kusai? It is Niju Kyusai. Niju Kyusai. All right? People in the... Uh, oh, by the way, I don't know if you know this. I do live stream. Uh, right now, we're using Facebook, but we change it from time to time. Right now, we're live streaming. People are watching me live, and every now and then, when you see me look over here, I'm just looking at comments. So uh, everyone's shocked at the 29-year-old age. That, that, that it's 29. I'm just shocked, too. All right. I don't know if you notice this, but when I say, all right, that means I'm going to move on. How old do you have to be in Japan to not just smoke, but drink alcohol? I don't do either. I hate both of them. I don't like to smoke. I don't like to drink. But how old do you have to be? Now, I'll give you a hint. Japan and Korea, I believe, is the exact same age. And it's one of the highest in the world. So how old do you have to be to smoke and drink alcohol in Japan? 20 years old, 20 years old. That's pretty old. Like you've been like out of the house for a couple of years at that time. So how do you say it? How do you say 20 years old? It's gonna be multiple quiz again. Is it hatachi? Is it 
hitachi? Is it hatachi sai or niju sai? Niju sai. It is hatachi. Hatachi. It's special. Special age. All right. Next, next one. Now, this is a picture of me. This is a picture of me at the beach. This is, um, there's a beach in California. Oh, I can't remember the name. It's such a sweet, like, spot that I never found. Uh, I, I've been going to California for years. We go to, like, Santa Monica and all these really great beaches. But there's this one great beach where you have to walk down this big stairway down. And it's beautiful. I forget the name. It starts with an M, I thought. But someone will post it in the comments. Uh, this is me at the beach. And this is my representation of retirement. So what is the average retirement age right now for the last three years? According to this video, you know, 2016 is the year right now. Again, there's no wrong answer. Average retirement age in Japan. 61. Seems fairly young to me that 61 you're already retiring. So what is that? What is 61 in Japanese? I won't do multiple choice on this one. We'll just go for it. It is Rokuju Isai. Remember, because there is no Ichi Sai, even when you're saying Rokuju, you know, 61, you have to follow the pattern that we set in that first 20, or in the first 10, I mean. So it's Rokuju Isai. All right, here is, I believe, the last, last in this quiz. Kind of ending on a sad note, I guess. What is the average age that cats pass away? How old are they when they die? Now, I'll give you a hint. It is between 10 and 20 years. So a lot of cats can live to 20. I have a friend had a cat lived until 22 years. All right. And this is a picture of a cat that I took in a uh, cat cafe, which are awesome. You have to go to a cat cafe. They're amazing. The answer is 15. It's very sad. I love cats. I have three. Uh, Fifteen. And what is that in Japanese? Jugosai. Jugosai. All right. So now we know. We know how to say our age. But we didn't learn how to ask how old are you. And we didn't learn how to ask to say how old we are. So the question is, very simply, Nansai desu ka? Nansai desu ka? Now remember, in the lesson, you can click the sound over and over again and listen to it. So if you feel like I didn't say it um, as Japanese as you'd like it to sound, go click on the Japanese native sound in the lesson. So, nansai desu ka means how old are you? Okay, very simple. Don't worry about the grammar. We're going to learn that when we start talking about um, creating sentences in lesson one. Right now, I just want you to memorize this phrase exactly. Nansai desu ka? Nansai desu ka? All right, and the answer is Maru maru sai desu. Unless you're saying you're 20, then the sai wouldn't be there, okay? So it's whatever age you are, desu. So for example, I am 43, so if someone said to me, nan sai desu ka? I of course would say, niju kyu sai, which is 29. No, I wouldn't say that. I would say, yonju san sai, yonju san sai, which is, of course, 43. All right, now, that's your typical lesson but let's add a bonus question. And this question will make your first conversation in Japanese. If anyone ever asks you your age, it means they don't know you. You're a new friend. And if you want to make that conversation fun, this is the phrase you want to ask. Number one, because Japanese people never guess foreign ages right. Japanese people tend to look young and Westerners tend to look older. So this is always a really fun game. All right. So I want you to say, Nansai ni miemasu ka? If they say to you, Nansai desu ka? You say, Nansai ni miemasu ka? Nansai ni miemasu ka? And they'll always go, Oh! 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 oh, oh 42! <clears throat> you know, they're gonna... By the way, if, you're, if a woman asks you this, you gotta say lower. Do not say older. Alright. So, Nansai ni miemasu ka? And the answer is, Maru maru. Ni miemas. It's whatever, including the sai, ni miemas. <clears throat> so if you look 20, or if they look 20, you can say, uh, hatachi ni miemas. If they look like they're five years old, you say, gosai ni miemas. Okay? That is it 
I want to hear your stories. I really do. Tell me how fun it was that your first conversation was that non Nimia Muska thing. Now, you can do this on chat. If you're talking to somebody on an application where you can meet Japanese people, and you can do this as long as they, you have a good profile picture, okay? So you can say non and you can and and then they're gonna ask you the same thing. They're gonna ask you the same thing if you do it to them, and then you have this. That's your first really cool conversation. We're having fun. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Keep studying. Bye bye.